we'll start with the very basics of postman <clears throat> Now, what are the different types of request headers that you face uh, while you're working with Postman? Like what all you can send with Postman? So, uh, I like you know I tested like get put first batch and delete. Mm -hmm. Endpoints uh, uh, like uh, get endpoints will be returning the data, and post endpoint will be creating the resource in the database. Put mm -hmm. is going to update the data in the database. Batch is going to modify only specific field in the database. And delete is going to delete the resource from the database. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between put, post, and patch? I'll just ask this question as well. Give me one second. Yeah, you can meanwhile uh, give me the differences between all of these put, post, and patch. Post, post. Uh, is going to create the data, I mean, resource in the database. So, mm -hmm. is going to update mm -hmm. the entire resource in the database. Patch is, uh, patch is going to update only specific field in the resource in the database. Say, for example, there is... Post. A... You said post is going to, sorry, I just missed that. Post is going to uh, uh, do what? Create the resource in the database. Okay, okay, create a resource, all right. Yeah. Put is going to update the entire resource in the database. Batch mm -hmm. is updating only specific field in the uh, uh, resource in the database. Okay. All right. All right. Um, can you automate, uh, like, can you uh, like test uh, REST, uh, REST based API using Postman? REST API, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you? Okay. Uh, all right. I don't know why, but my screen has frozen. I'm not able to share the next question with you. Allow me one second. Let me figure out what's happening. Okay. All right. It, it's fine. No, it's still stuck. One second. Now let me just... Because whenever you speak, I have to document all your answers word by word so that while assessing, nobody has that bias kind of thing that I missed on something. All right, great. Okay, so now can you tell me uh, uh, the request for the uh, for a couple of API codes that I'll be sending you? The status codes? Yeah. Okay, all right, great. You have worked with the, the status codes, like a lot of them, right? Yeah. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay, great. All right. <clears throat> Uh, I'm sharing them with you. You have to take these down in the chat and share uh, whatever is with uh, with uh, respect to each of these status codes. You have to share me the request that you'll be getting or sending. One second. I don't know why this is actually frozen again for me. Give me a moment. Huh? Let me try to recover this thing. Okay, fine. Okay. Hmm. Let me know if it's reflecting on your screen. Did yeah, you get all the status codes? Yeah, yeah. status code I got it. Mm. Now you can open the chat, like in the chat, you can take down all these status codes and you can write down what is the corresponding uh, message you'll be getting to them and share them back to me. I'm not able to copy these values. Okay, you can one by one write and then share it with me. That's also fine. I think. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, all right. Hmm. Are there any other status codes that you would be having that you are aware of? Yeah, yeah. 207 uh, multi status is there. 429 too many requests is there. Hmm. Is 503 bad gateway? Are you sure? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is five hundred three bad gateway? Are you sure about it? Yes, I believe uh, because five zero five hundred series is like always to deal with the other servers. So. Hmm. Okay. Uh. 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 Okay. Um. Uh, 503 is not bad ki to way to but since you're saying it it's okay I, I, i'll not uh, uh, let you remind like what is 503 exactly but uh, like my experience is 503 is not bad ki to i'll have to recheck on that no problem no problem let's proceed with it okay um fine uh, 400 is forbidden oh, no sorry what you have done 403 is forbidden okay fine 403 is forbidden great all right the rest are also fine okay theek hai cool let's proceed with the next question then in that case since okay all right we are already over time fine let me quickly jump to uh, one second uh, this platform seems stuck again okay great you have worked with cicd pipelines or what yeah uh, for automation okay you have you are comfortable with questions regarding the micro uh, microservice architecture along with the cicd pipelines Okay. What are the common challenges that you have encountered while manually testing integrations with microservices setup during the CI/CD? Uh, 
mm-hmm. I'll explain it with the, my current organization how it works with the microservices. Mm-hmm. Say for example, one service uh, will be like you know publishing the data. So one more mm-hmm. service will be consuming the data. So this data transaction mm-hmm. happens through Kafka. And uh, okay. so there will be a messaging queue in the Kafka. So one mm-hmm. service is going to publish the data. And the other service will subscribe this data using that uh, Kafka topic. And it will do its okay. production in this particular uh, service. So whenever I create the resource in that particular service, so whether it is reflecting in the right place or not in this particular service is the one thing we are going to check. We are going to check. Hmm. And the data mapping, right. yeah, data mapping also will be very kind. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, actually, CACD word confused me. Okay, okay, not an issue. So it's all about you have undergone the integration cycle and post that what all issues can be there. There can be an issue that your microservice is using some third party integrations also. So while you're integrating, there might be op- uh, there might be a case that those third party integrations are down and you your pipelines may fail because of that, right? That can also be one of the scenarios for testing this. Mm, okay, I don't know why, but I'm not able to share the next question. Okay, I uh, have shared. It's a kind of scenario based setup. This might happen. A couple of your test cases. It's this the same. A couple of your test uh, cases pass from your test suite, and the test fail, right? So the same for the CI/CD setup pipeline. So a couple, uh, like whenever you're uh, deploying them, working with the pipelines individually, each and every build that passes. But then you club and do uh, like a, um, could be a problem that your main has not been rebased or whatever X Y Z issue, and then you suddenly integrate all the pipelines and then redeploy it to CI/CD, CD and it then starts failing. How are you going to identify those issues? First of all, like we have to get to know. I mean. The, the communication where it is failing. Say for example, if three different services are connected together, if I am doing something in one service which is not reflecting the targeted service, say for example fourth service or fifth service. So, uh, mm-hmm. uh, so will I be? I mean, uh, I, if I am doing something in the first service and expecting in the fifth service, so uh, mm-hmm. see where exactly it is failing. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, first service to second service is it working fine or not? Second to third it is working fine or not? Third to fourth is working fine or not? So if any at any but if any one place if it is failing, obviously in the expected service it will not flow. So because as it is a connected modules in the microservice architecture, so first we should get to okay. know where it is failing, and then we should get to know why it is failing. So then we have to fix it, and then we have to uh, reorient. Okay, fine. <clears throat> all right. So, Bapara, that's mostly all from me for the day. Uh, and thank you so much for joining in. So, post this call, you'll get a little feedback survey kind of thing regarding the interaction that we have been through. You can rate that interaction, and that will be helpful for me as well. Right? And the team will get back to you with the feedback. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All the best. Thanks. Bye.